fast, chuckle nuts! Cereza and the Lost Demon. Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and think fast. It is Cereza and the Lost Demon. What is Cereza and the Lost Demon? Well, from what I saw a while ago, when the, when the trailer dropped, rather, well, I guess at the time of this recording, it was oddly enough only like three months ago. Cereza and the Lost Demon is, well, as the title says above it, a origin story to Bayonetta as a whole. But it looks like it plays like a single-person co-op game, similar to Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, which I play in the channel. Other notes I would say actually would probably be... Oh, I think A Way Out is another one you can do, and... I forget the other one. I forget the other one by the same dev team. Anyway. So, this is the Nintendo Switch version of the game. I don't know if it's available on other platforms. If it is, check the description down below. And, uh, yeah. Being it's Nintendo Switch version, we just get to jump right in. Now, what is the Think Fast series? Basically, I sit down with the game for 15 to 45 minutes, playing it as if I just opened it up from a physical package, giving you folks my thoughts on the game based on that time alone. Now, with that in mind, I'm gonna let the story talk a little bit. Together, they controlled a mysterious power. The clans put in place strict laws to ensure that strife would never consume them. But a pair of star-crossed lovers broke this rule, and a child was born with the blood of both sage and witch. It was a beautiful baby girl. As punishment for their forbidden love, the pair were torn asunder. The girl's sage father was exiled to a far land, and her mother locked away in a solitary jail. The witch clan took in the young girl, but she grew up shunned as a pariah, cursed by the circumstance of her birth. Her one comfort was the night she snuck into the village jail to visit her mother's cell. Her mother passed each grueling day, barely able to so much as move in her cold cell. But when her daughter came to visit, the witch always showed her a loving smile. But even this small happiness eventually came to an end. On the night of the girl's 10th birthday, her mother was to be moved to a deeper cell, where even the faintest memory of daylight could not reach her. In desperation, the girl tried a daring rescue, but with only a child's strength, the attempt was in vain. More alone than ever before, the young girl clung to all she had left, a stuffed cat named Cheshire which her mother had made for her long ago. Many moons have since passed. Turning her back on the village, the girl was taken in by an exiled witch who lived on the outskirts of town. Under her strict guidance, the girl continued to train in the ways of the dark arts. She was determined to be a powerful witch and one day save her mother. Her name was Ceresa. I've got to hurry. I like the style. Okay. You, I suppose, child doesn't move that fast, but yeah, still has th so much hair. Even as a child, Cereza has so much hair. So, 
I don't ima I don't imagine for a bit we will get into I don't imagine for a bit we'll get to like the combination of Cereza and the other entity of this game. I'll leave it I'll leave it vague just in case. But this this game does feels more story driven, maybe more puzzle driven than like a lot of other Bayonetta games where it's just like okay, a little bit of fun funny over the top, a little fun over the top story. And then just stupid combat where you just try to get a perfect every time you walk through an area. That's rude. I, I realize, you know, cultures of old basically shunned anybody for not existing within their perfect little mold. But come on, this is rude, to, even to a child. So. If you don't hurry, you may never see your mother again. John, I... I can't. Ah, oh, you big baby. Come on, I'll lead the way. They'll find us. Really? John? I was under the under, under by the way I I own like all the Bayonetta games but I haven't played any of them. I was under the impression that John just was is he was just introduced as like introduced as like a rival character of sorts in Bayonetta 1. Yeah, like she was introduced as a rival character and then not, and then just kind of a helpful guide after that. So it's, it's, uh, sorry, it's a little jarring to me not knowing the entirety of the Bayonetta lore that John is here. Also, I'm not pressing any buttons to jump or anything. It's, the game's automatically jumping for me. It's night? Get better at it. So I will say, like, all the controls I've done right now, so secret? No. All the controls have been so far have been left thumbstick, and that's it. I have not pushed a single button other than A to advance text. That's really all I've pressed. I do appreciate the fact that this is like presented as a storybook. It's kind of neat. Oh no, they're on to us. Leave the guards to me. You hurry on ahead. Wait, John, I can't do this alone. Uh, you're gonna have to. It seems so strange that Cereza, you know, th that this this very timid, very self-doubt doubtful, tiny creature, is the seven foot tall badass witch that basically kicks demons for fun and makes cheeky, lewd bl glance, uh, glances at everything else in the world. That made no sense. Roll with it. Roll with me. Mommy? 
are you? That dream again. But the ending. It was a dream Ceresa knew by heart. But this time, something had changed. Ceresa decided to consult her friend Cheshire. A strange boy appeared and told me something incredible. He said. If I went to Avalon Forest, he'd give me a fantastic power. If we had that, rescuing Mummy would be a piece of cake. The Forbidden Forest. The oft-repeated warning from Ceresa's teacher rung in her ears. Avalon Forest is home to fairies, creatures who love to whisk away children. Stay away. Teresa, <gasps> where are you, my dear? Teresa's teacher Morgana was standing by the door, her frown discernible even from a distance. Yeah, that's a frown you can never mistake anywhere. Well, that's the premise set up. Uh, I'm gonna go... Oh. And there's... Okay, so there's... Ma it's manual save points noted. Thank you. And... I didn't read that, I'll be honest. Whatever, I have multiple save spots. It looks like I have multiple save spots I can mess around with. Yeah. So the game does have multiple saves if you're somebody who likes to savor certain moments in games. Which is kind of rare, oddly enough, nowadays. It feels like everything is autosave one slot. It's very rare to have a game that has multiple save slots lately. Chores neglected and I find my apprentice enjoying her beauty sleep. I'm sorry. I just closed my eyes for a second. I... I was... I... Ceresa uh. began making an excuse, but Morgana's scowl stopped her in her tracks. Yes, ma'am. I'll get to them right away. But despite her best intentions, Ceresa's gaze drifted back towards Avalon Forest. This did not go unnoticed by Morgana. Oh... If I've told you once, Ceresa, you must never enter that forest. With your current abilities, you would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. Yes, Morgana. I know. Well then, stop your dreaming and finish those chores before moonrise, young lady. All right. Water from the well. Coming right up. A simple yes will suffice, Ceresa. Off you go. Despite her strict exterior, Ceresa had grown attached to her teacher. Morgana had also been cast out of the village. She understood Ceresa's pain, and her stern treatment came from a place of love. Okay, water from the well. I can do that. Also, this is the point that somebody in the comments is going to tell me, uh, Morgana, it's like, 
is, is, is a big bad that Cereza fights later on. You did, yeah. Part of her training. Eager to please her master, she hurried off towards the well. I can hurry only so fast. Uh, oh, left bumper. Oh, makes sense. Again, me talking about the fact this is like a single player co-op game. Where the other entity you control, I think, uses the right thumbstick. It would actually make sense that the other entity, considering what it can do, would use the right half of the controller, considering how many attacks it can do. Anyway, I'm, 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 I'm blabbling on. She can barely... <laughs> Sereza can barely weigh that down. Holy cow. Case in point. Well, do, don't don't trip, please. It may seem like a simple chore, but it requires a fine sense of control, making it perfect for unbrim training. It's all about balance, and carrying something that's roughly about the same size as you, but probably weighs more because water and physics with water don't stop suddenly. She didn't follow her stopping suddenly with water. I'm impressed. After laying eyes on the full bucket, Morgana gave a small nod of approval. Good. Now collect the herbs from the garden. Oh. oh. At the thought of herbs, Ceresa could not help but make a face. This is one job she wished could be forever stricken from her regimen. Do we have a problem? No, ma'am. Trying not to think about the task awaiting her, Ceresa headed towards the herb garden. And this is, and the herb garden will slowly lead her. The, slow, the herb garden will somehow lead to the edge of the forest and she'll get trapped there. Oh, that would explain why Ceresa's not very happy with having to do this. But a little bit of magic made them pop right up. What kind of plant grows in the ground, but... Okay, you know what? Hey, what's this? Huh. Neat. Flavor text. I would imagine that I would have to, like, loop around here. There's, there's like, a lot of things like I probably could do. A lot of world I could explore here and have fun with, but let's stay on the strict and narrow to try and show off as much gameplay of the game as possible. I feel like I took the long way. Well, uh, until the left stick in the right direction with correct timing. Okay. Okay, that's very rudimentary. Hurry on out. Good. That's very awkward to do. I mean, I'll do it manually just because... And you can change it. I'm going to just do it manually. I'll, yeah, I'll do it manually because like it adds to the gameplay a little bit. But like it's semi-rhythm based. Like, oh, uh, oh, no one told me they could do this. I've got to catch it quick. Okay, simple enough. Yes. It is the Mandragora, so it can just it can just do that, I guess. I think that's what Mandragoras do. Ceresa was pleasantly surprised. She usually managed to make a mess with even this rudimentary magic. I can't wait to see the look on Morgana's face. <laughs> Ceresa hummed a happy tune while picking the herbs. As she bent down, she noticed a pretty flower growing amongst the weeds. Oh, 
Those flowers would really bring out the color in Morgana's eyes. Oh, she, did you already pick the? Did you already pick it? Learn to plug your nose without using your hands. Trust me, it's an invaluable skill. Source, someone with asthma who is allergic to cigarette smoke. It helps a lot. Ceresa proudly gave the basket to Morgana it was full to bursting. How about that, Morgana? Quite the harvest, wouldn't you say? I also picked these violets. They're for you. I thought you might like them. Atop the herbs lay a small wreath. Morgana glanced down at it. Her expression unchanged. She spoke to Ceresa in her usual tone. Do not expect praise for this sort of perfunctory performance. Oh, and Cereza, your hair today seems to have lost its sheen. Do not tell me that in addition to your outdoor tasks, you're also neglecting your hair. Uh, no, ma'am. It's next on my list. Uh, remember, Cereza. Hair is the most versatile tool of an Umbra Witch. It can be shaped into our armor, weapons, and even used as a medium for summoning infernal demons. As blood flows through veins, magic flows through a witch's hair. Care for it as you would your most precious tool, and defend it as you would your very heart. Understood. I'll make sure to finish up before training starts tonight. Good. Now get back to your chores. The shadows grew long. The moon will soon rise. With this, Morgana turned and walked back towards the house. Yes, ma'am. At times, Morgana's cold treatment got Ceresa down. But she knew that Morgana cared for her and only wanted what was best for her. <laughs> Making a quick recovery, Ceresa resolved to finish her remaining chores in record time. Quick interjection here. I like how the whole treating your hair, treating your hair as a vital part of your body, much like your heart, is very, very important. Meanwhile, Bayonetta 2, Cereza has short, short, short hair. Almost time for today's training. I better hurry, or I'm in for another lecture. Wh where do training begin? Uh, grab? Take. Cannot take. Okay. Is up here training? I'm going to assume up here is training. Go towards bright sparkly lights. With the household chores complete, it was time for Ceresa's daily training in the dark arts. Today she was finally going to get a chance to attempt a spell she had been practicing for weeks. Summoning an infernal demon. For today's training, I will give you a little help. Before even learning what it did, Ceresa was captivated by the intricate brace. Oh, this is a tool for those who have yet to master the flow of magic. Furthermore, we train under the full moon of the bisextile night, when the dark energy we Umbra harness is at its zenith. <clears throat> Are you listening, young lady? You seem determined today. Perhaps I should let you nap more often. Yes, ma'am. Ceresa's spirits were high. She was determined to succeed. Step 
My steps are so flawlessly performed the summoning dance. Until... This looked like trouble. Unless bound by hair, there will be no way to control the demon. The demon turned to ash mere inches from Cereza. Without a proper medium, demons will soon die in our world. Ah, uh, we are finished for today. L let me try again, please. Morgana turned and walked away, ignoring her pupil's desperate plea. What kind of witch fears her own summoned familiar? I was foolish to think you were ready for this training. Morgana told Teresa to put away the magic brace before heading back to the house. Long after Morgana was gone, Cereza sat moping in the garden. Out of habit, she shared her troubles with Cheshire. Forget returning to the village and saving Mummy. At this rate, I'll never even become a witch. All of a sudden, the words from the boy in her dream echoed in her ears. Theresa, give you the power to save Mother. Avalon Forest, the White. Wolf, you. Avalon Forest! Cereza's eyes wandered back to the forest. Morgana's repeated warnings left little room for ambiguity. And yet... Morgana is always dangerous this and stay away that. How could a dank old forest be that scary a place anyway? Adults do often exaggerate to keep kids in their place. This thought got Cereza's blood boiling. Grievances started bubbling up. Nothing I do is ever good enough for her. Did you see those herbs? Flawless! As she blew off steam to Cheshire, she noticed Morgana's brace shining in the moonlight. What are you saying, Cheshire? Take the brace and sneak into the forest? Morgana would give us a right smack on the bottom. Although, with the moon shining brightly, it was the ideal chance for a little surreptitious forest excursion. I mean, if I just had another chance to get the hang of it, I could have gotten that demon totally under wraps. With a demon by her side, eviscerating a fairy or two would be child's play. That's it! I'm going to that forest! And when I come back with that fantastic power, Morgana will take back everything she said about me not being ready. Let's go, Cheshire. Next stop, Avalon! You are going to perish, but you've done dumber things. Granted, they're like seven hundred years from now, but you've done but you've done dumber things. You think I'm joking about that that timeline? Not really. I might be I might be a little bit, but not. But the hundreds part, not so much. Keep pushing forward. Go, Cereza, go. Do dumb things. And again, reminder that only buttons I've had so far have been left bump. Okay, I have the infernal bindings. That's the only thing I've got access to right now. I forget what my left... I think my left bumper is just to interact Let's with things. Go, 
And here comes death. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like a bad time appearing in front of you or anything. And definitely, it's definitely not draw distance. It's definitely a magical forest appearing in front of you. And so, Ceresa threw caution and her teacher's warnings to the wind and set out towards Avalon Forest. Little did she know that what lay waiting in those dark woods would change her fate forever. Oh, 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 okay, that's really all. It was just a title drop. I suppose you gotta leave it a little ambiguous for the trials and tribulations to come, yes? I would say, chapter 2 already got imminent, and I had stopped thinking, no, wait, yeah. Chapters, this happens a lot with Bayonetta, like, they're very, there's, with the Bayonetta games, I think, like, the longest Bayonetta game has only 18 chapters, and the whole premise is to play a stage multiple times to perfect it. If that plays into this game, I don't know, because because the uh, I believe the director said that this game is meant to like veer off the normal bayonetta formula. Massive trees blocked almost all light from the moon. An eerie silence enveloped Teresa. She cautiously ventured onwards. If this is cautious. You know, I don't want to know what cautious is of me holding the, the left stick entirely don't forward. Me like that. Eh? Nothing? Huh. Can I go? Oh, I can go up. Okay, magic. Huh. Well, found the collectibles. This is either the collectible of the game or this is money. So what's down? I'm trying to discern which way is forward and which way is not forward. Because, you know, not forward will have goodies hidden, hidden in places. Also, I do have to wonder, like, how how straight and narrow this game will be. Because I think it's going to be more puzzle-oriented. It'll still have a little bit of, like, the Bayonetta charm of combat, I think, a little bit. But it's, I think it's going to be more, you know... I think it will be more straightforward, so to say. That's why you will not fall. That's why we're going to take this walk very don't slowly. Down. I don't look down. I'm looking down. Come on, Ceresa. One foot in front of the other. Don't let the owls scare you. They'll do it. A plant from Inferno. I wonder how it will respond to my magic. Uh, these purple plants are bigger than Morgana's herbs. They will require. So multiple instances of it? Okay. Huh. I probably is the brace, considering, you know, the magic brace. Oh hey, look, another another collectible. Avalon drops. So are these Onyx Rose and Avalon drops supposed to be the whole Umbral and Sage thing, like working in tandem? Anyway, I'm going off the beaten path now. I'm gonna explore. It's kind of weird that they're like this is a rhythm thing. It's kind of weird that this is a rhythm thing, but I have, but I guess I don't have to. But I do have to do it in rhythm because you know dancing. Listen, Bayonet is a heck of a drug. No. More exploring. Okay, it is in the direction there. I'm worried how involved this, all this like dancing stuff is going to be in the future. Considering, like, keep in mind, we haven't gotten to anything combat related at all. Because there is a little bit of combat. We haven't gotten to anything combat related at all, so I'm wondering if we have to do this in time to combat. Hello, rabbit. 
Oh. Death. We'll, we're, we'll be well acquainted. Uh, vitality. Okay. Okay, so that was a bad idea, but what if I get just in range? Oh. Oh, that that's it. Okay. Well, I would like to go the other way, maybe. Let me go the other way first. This is actually a very interesting system, so to say. Like, it's not very complex, but it's interesting, to say the least. Ugh. It does pause. Hold that thought. Anything behind you? Of course not. And now you're going to come unbound the second I'm within striking range. Okay, no you're not. It's oddly intriguing. Like, it's slightly puzzle-oriented, but it's still like the whole Bayonetta be do stylish things to thwart enemies bit. Okay, so... Right, left bumper is the interact button, left trigger is to do anything else. Dark underbrush. Cerisa could not shake the feeling that someone was looking back. As the wind rustled the leaves, it sounded just like a rasping voice whispered in her ear. I can't turn back now. I'm going to become a witch and save Mummy. Ah, good. Good. The uh, the fairy or the fae of the forest have decided to spring forth. So that's why I'm going to stop at everything that pops up and use magic on it to out of pure fear. Well, as much as I would appreciate that save spot, I do need to do... I And I would save, I should still press forward a little bit. Because I want to at least like try and show off the combat this game is going for. Eh, we'll just make a quick save here. Yeah, I just overwrite the start of the game. Let's see that completion percent. It's 6 per... That makes me think this game isn't that big. <laughs> Unfortunate. Or something. Right, Cheshire? Rabbits don't make those noises. Nope. Is, is someone out there? Yeah, those would be the Fae. You'd be right to fear a fairy, by the way. Like, I know a lot of times in fairy tales, aptly named, oddly enough, it, fairies are always portrayed as, you know, bu light bubbly creatures. Uh, fae are little tricksters. Fairies and fair are little tricksters that seek a means to their uh, a means to their own end, and will trick people to get that point. Cereza could not shake the feeling she was being watched. Is someone there? Show yourself. And then, as if to answer her call. Okay, before I go forward, this is actually funny because, like, every Bayonetta game, when you encounter a new enemy, you get, like, a lexicon that pops up that shows the enemy, this enemy art like this, and then it closes that lexicon. I guess dictionary, book, what journal, whatever you want to call it. These were fairies. Nefarious creatures who ensnare the souls of humans who venture into the woods to feed on their vitality. This time, there was nowhere to run. Cereza was backed into a corner. Please, please walk this time. 
Fingers crossed, Ceresa prepared to use the summoning spell she learned from Morgana. But I Vatorzu! Even after the summoning circle had faded away, no one had answered her call. Why? I did everything right! The fairies resumed their sinister mission. All at once, they jumped at Ceresa. Weapons forced to strike. <laughs> she shut her eyes tight and prepared for the worst. A moment passed. Huh? And then another. But she felt not so much as a pinprick. What? Who are you? Come! <laughs> That beast, as dark as a moonless night, had it all been a dream? You don't think... could that have been...? But before Ceresa could finish her question... Summon a demon that has now possessed Cheshire. As if in reply, the beast growled and bared its blood red fangs. Just as Ceresa feared, a demon had indeed possessed her beloved stuffed cat. The creature had desperately sought a medium in order to survive in our world. In lieu of hair, it settled for one made of felt. Looking around, the demon's eyes found Ceresa. It let out a low growl. After her initial terror, Ceresa realized that she was able to understand what the demon was saying. You... you want me to return you to Inferno? Now, how would one go about doing that? Ceresa had her hands full calling a demon to this world. She hadn't even begun to study the spell to send them back. Ceresa once again heard the demon's words, this time even more clearly. Send me back. Send me back. The demon's rage increased by the second but there was nothing Ceresa could do. Out of patience, he pounced. Claws like daggers descended on Ceresa. But what have we here? The demon had stopped cold. As if bound by an invisible force, no matter how he struggled, he was unable to touch Ceresa. Calm down! You're going to burst the seam! Don't worry, I'll send you home. Once I figure out how... I'm on my way to get a fantastic power! With that, sending you back should be a piece of cake. Giving up his attack, the demon turned his attention elsewhere. In 
intrigued, but a little scared, Ceresa decided to follow a bit behind. And this would be our other entity of the game. Cheshire. This is our attacker. It, it, it big. I'm going to say it just to be safe. It big. It do, it do big swing. So yeah, it's kind of weird that like we control Cheshire. This is actually kind of weird to like... My brain wants to have Cheshire on the right half of the screen. Yeah, my, my brain wants to have Cheshire on the right half of the screen, and it wants to have Cer Cereza, because we'll get her back at some point, wants to have Cereza on the left half of the screen. <laughs> yeah, cool, I can just mash the attack button. Do I have a co do I have a like a counter system by the way? I have like right bumper for interact. But do I have other buttons? Cause like I'm right now just using triggers. I'm currently at the moment just using triggers and the and the stick corresponding to the stick to attack. Yeah, simple combat. So here comes the part where I probably have to do that do it all in tandem, huh? Demon slashed with his razor sharp claws. But something felt off. His power seemed to escape him. Slowly but surely. And that's where Cereza ca comes in. What's wrong? The demon bared his fangs. He was clearly suffering. Are you sick? Or hungry, perhaps? As Cereza approached, the demon felt the strength return to his body. In an instant, he felt right as rain. His body was linked to Ceresa by powerful magic. Moving away from her robbed it of its energy. What's that? I need to stay close to you? I've never heard of a spell like this before. How do you plan on getting me back to Inferno? The demon demanded. We first need to find a white wolf. He'll show us the way. Leave it to me. I'll find him. Said the demon as he clambered to his feet. Um, I'm Cereza. What's your name? I have no name. Replied the demon curtly. You don't have a name? That must be terribly inconvenient. Though I must admit, I haven't the faintest idea about demonic manners. May I call you Cheshire? That's the name of the stuffed cat you decided to borrow after all. Well, I need to call you something. If you're going to make a fuss about it, why don't you just find a new body? Fine! I'll just call you whatever I please. And so these strange companions set off in search of the white wolf. What mysteries await in Avalon Forest? Okay. They move about separately. They cannot be far apart for a certain period of time. Watch the distance. Uh, yep. So basically... So I feel like this is the kind of game, again, like... What I would propose, and this is actually kind of the... It takes two. That's the other game I was thinking of at the start of the video. What I propose is actually to play this game almost kind of like, you know, a way out. It takes two. Those kind of games are. is like, one person controls Cereza, holds on to the left half of the controller while extending the controller... I'm trying to like think think how you would do this. I, extending the controller to your to your other to whoever is the other person have the other half control Cheshire, but that'd be more of a actual co-op. So let's move together anyway.
we're moving now. They can't really overlap with each other, so to say. Well, the, uh, I feel like that would actually make things better as, as well for me. I feel like, I feel like I would be a little more happy at that, at that rate as well. It's just, it's just like, I have this powerful demon. If it tries to hit me, it can't. Oh. Well, these are holy, these are holy plants. Great. Tickled Ceresa's nose. It was rosemary, often used to ward off evil spirits. As soon as Ascent reached Cheshire, he pulled away, face scrunched up in disgust. It looked like demons could not stand being anywhere near the flower. Uh, okay. This is literally a don't bring the demon here, aka this is a forced sep separation ex exercise. Cool. Yeah, this is basically forcing you to explore using two characters. Oh, I'm just... Okay. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say using two characters, it's a little... It's a little cumbersome, because again, you controlling two characters, one with each stick. You'd think I'd be more accustomed to this having played Katamari recently, but, uh... Not so much. But yeah, it's just kind of weird. Because, like, your brain, ha your mind, and your brain have to be in two places at the same time. Back up, Cheshire. Although I will admit, okay, something I will say is I'm glad that these, uh. I'm glad that these little quick time events actually have different, uh, timings on each one of them. You know there's going to be a hard mode where, like, sir, like the demon can actually hit Cereza. There's definitely a hard mode. This is Platinum, after all. They like doing this kind of stuff. Hello? I know what to do here. Don't explain it to me, game. Please don't explain it to me. This was quite a pickle. But Cereza knew how to get by without a scratch. Cheshire! I've got it tied down! Yep, just that's it. That's what that's what the that's the magic right there. That's the magic that we're gonna be working with right there. Is if is Cereza holds it down while really so, uh yeah Cereza holds it down while Cheshire attacks it. Okay, oh. Maybe have Cheshire take the lead. <laughs> you know, have the... Oh. Have the brawn take the lead so the brain can actually function and do things on its own. It's a brain and a bronze thing. Oh. Well, he can't... Unfortunately... Oh, good. The new Cheshire understands the severity. Uh-oh. its original cuddly form. Cheshire! Ceresa ran to pick up Cheshire and held him tightly to her chest. In her arms, Cheshire felt his strength returning. Release me at once! Even in this form, the demon did not seem happy about being cuddled. Just hold still, will you? 
While you're small, you can't walk on your own, right? I'll carry you until you can transform again. Not having a massive demon breathing down my neck will make it easier for me to calm down too. While far from pleased about being treated like a stuffed animal, the demon had no choice but to swallow his pride. Okay. Uh, you can move through with and extend Cheshire with the okay, so Cheshire just kinda This is awkward. Woo! So long, Cheshire! Okay. Enough goofy oh, enough goofy references. Cheshire still weighs the same as before. Uh you can switch between moving together and move apart any time, both have their uses. Okay. So. So, come here. He's still fighting me the entire time. Okay, that's... Oh, and that's the benefit. Neat. Okay. Well, I... Even though this didn't really get into it super deep, I think this kind of, like shows a little bit what to expect from this game like it's not super it's not like super rough or anything it's not super i don't know it's not really hard it's hard to say it doesn't seem as hard as like normal bayonetta games are to go damageless or not get hurt but i think this is more to be like an explorative romp game and to kind of tell a story of series beginnings rather than you know be all about kick boom pow Bam, but a bop, boop, boop, bam. But anyway, if you are curious about Cereza and the Lost Demon, want to know how much it would cost you, what systems you can get it on, anything of that sort, do check the description down below for more details. But that's going to be it for me for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again when I react to a new title for the first time. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.